Hey guys, it's Audra and I am in Colorado Springs. I know it's so exciting. I live here now. <laughs> um, okay, so I wanted to talk about my move from Dallas to Colorado, why I made the move, how it's been going, um, what the plan was, basically all the things from, from planning to, to executing to how it's going now. So, okay, I love Colorado. I don't know about you. The mountains are just absolutely stunning. I love hiking, mountain biking, rock climbing, all of the things that involve the mountains, especially the views. I mean, the views are unbelievable. I'm just like, what? Are you kidding me? I live here and I get to see this every single day. Um, so let's see. Four years ago, Allison and I started going to Estes Park, Colorado every single October for her birthday. Shout out to Laura for letting us stay in your house every single time we come. Um, and we started hiking and we just did these hiking trips. And so then I started planning more vacations around hiking and seeing the beautiful earth that God has created. Like it is so pretty out there. And I was living in Dallas. <laughs> it's like Dallas is so flat. And don't get me wrong. I love Dallas and I'm not here to just like crap all over Dallas, but um, it's just not beautiful the way that Colorado is. So anyway, um, Allison and I started going on these vacations. I absolutely love coming to Colorado. And I thought, why not move here? Why not save the money that I'm taking and using for vacations and coming to Colorado, use that to pay like the little bit of expenses of how Colorado is a little bit more expensive than Dallas. Um, and then not go on vacation and just explore the, the state. So this was an idea that I have tried to implement for about three years now, and I just never could work up the courage to do it because it's scary. And I had a life in Dallas. Like I have friends, I have a church, I have work, I have everything that I needed in the city of Dallas and things that I loved too. Don't get me wrong. I loved my life in Dallas, but the mountains, <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, why not have all of those things too, but live in a beautiful place? Why not? So I started thinking about this. Um, I had a Monday night book club with all my best friends and every Monday we would talk about stuff going through a book. And one of the things in the book was like, what's a dream that you've had that you just haven't pursued for whatever the reason is. And my dream was to live in Colorado. And so last June, the girls and I on Monday nights, we started talking about, okay, we're going to make a list of affirmations and every day we're going to read those things. And those things are going to become true for our lives. So starting last June, June, 2023 started planning and started having my affirmations of in May, when my lease is up, I'm going to move to Colorado. And so I started saying that to myself daily and started pre prepping my heart and my mind for this huge life transition and uh, started asking God about it. And it, it just felt like, yeah, why wouldn't I do that? Although it's very scary. It's very, it's very scary. <laughs> so anyway, I started praying about it and I didn't really feel like a direction either way. And so I just kept on affirming it and affirming and affirming it. Anyway, um, it comes to a point where I'm like, yeah, I think that God has put the mountains on my heart. God has put this purpose or this drive or this passion to be outside and to, to hike and, and see the mountains and be in the outdoors. All of these passions that are good and beautiful things, I think that he gave them to me. And so I started making a plan. Meanwhile, all of this is happening and I meet John back in October. And on our third date in November, I was like, listen, my, my lease is up in May and I plan on moving to Colorado. Like you're either on board with that right now <laughs> on the third date, or this isn't going to go anywhere because I'm going to be moving and I'm not doing long distance. And he was like, what? You want to move to Colorado? Like I've always wanted to move to Colorado. Like I had a recruiter looking for jobs for me in Denver last year. And I was like, what? That's perfect. Let's freaking do it. So anyway, um, that helped further along like my dreams, my passions, my purposes. And we started to pray about it as well. Obviously like that's very new in a relationship to be like, Hey, let's move to Colorado. But it was kind of like, you need to know this now and we need to start planning for it or it's not going to happen. So anyway, we're like talking about it very casually over the next two months. And then January happens and John is more of a planner than I am. I'm a little fly by the seat of my pants. And uh, did I say seed of my pants? I meant seam of my pants. Fly by the seam of my pants. Anyway, January comes around. He's like, okay, if we're actually going to move, we need to see where we want to move in Colorado. And so him and I started building like a map basically of the, the West Range. 
and we wanted to look all the way from Fort Collins down to Colorado Springs and make several stops like Morrison and Golden and Denver, obviously, um, along the way. And so in February, we took a week off of work and that's exactly what we did. We came and we spent three days in Denver. We spent a day up in Fort Collins and, and Golden and Morrison, then came down to Colorado Springs and did about two and a half days down here. And we prayed about it and it just came together. For John's work, it just so happened that this branch was, they were not looking to hire right away, but they heard about John and that he wanted to move here and they set up a meeting with him and then basically built a position for him and hired him before like they were even planning on doing anything like that. And so we totally felt like the Lord's blessing was upon that um, because we had nothing to do with it. We had absolutely nothing to do with it. They like came up with the plan. They are the ones who like made the interviews happen and then they built the position for him. And so for John's work, we were like, woo! <laughs> It's coming together. That's amazing. Um, me, on the other hand, as you guys know, I work in video production. I'm a freelancer and I've been a freelancer since about 2019, I think, is when I officially went freelance. And um, so here's the deal is that all of my work is in Dallas. All of my contacts are in Dallas. Everybody that I know is in Dallas. Do I know anybody in Colorado Springs? One, Katie, shout out. I know one person in Colorado Springs and had no idea what I was gonna do for work. So I was praying about that too. And here's the deal, I don't wanna work full time. <laughs> Y'all know how important it is for me to get to play. And especially if the mountains are right there, I do not wanna be working a full time job while I could be out on the mountain. So uh, I started building this plan and uh, here's how that has been going. I thought, okay, I'll give myself two months. And so I saved up enough money at the end of my time in Dallas to where I could pay myself essentially for all my bills and everything for two months of time while I built my business here in the Springs. While I could network, make contacts, um, try to drum up as much business as I possibly could, which is scary, y'all, this is scary. I had a lot of anxiety before I moved from Dallas. Like um, my time was coming at the, to an end in May and I was gonna move to Colorado in June. And I'm not gonna lie, probably the last 12 weeks, I did not sleep well in Dallas. And uh, I was excited for the move, obviously, of course, but I was scared and I was nervous and I didn't know what this would look like. And I'm moving to a place where I have no friends, I don't have work, I have no connections, like except Katie. So it's, it's a big deal and I'm doing it for what? Like I'm not moving for a church, I'm not moving for a job, I'm moving because I like to hike. So it seems really silly, but I love the outdoors and it, and it fuels me, it gives me passion. I mean, I, I just love the outdoors. So um, that was the plan. That's the plan that we created. And uh, here's how it's going. Let's see. So in May, I moved home for two weeks and spent time with my sisters and their babies. And then my dad and I drove up here and Allison, shout out, um, Allison helped drive up here and move me in. I moved June 1st. Today is August 14th. So I've been here, what, two and a half months now. Um, I moved in June and John moved July, I don't know, 14th or something. So he came about a month and a half after me. Here's how it's going. I have met so many awesome people, like so many awesome people. I have networked, I've gone to networking events. I have literally walked door to door in downtown telling people, hey, I'm new to town. I'm a videographer, I'm a photographer. Here's the kind of work that I do. Do you know anybody? Can you, do you need anything for your business? Um, I'm here and I'm ready to work. And I have just, I, I mean, I feel like I have been blessed. The Lord has introduced me to some people especially people like Uriah, who is in the industry with me. He's already helped me get work. He's the same person as me, basically, but as a man. And he does photo and I do video. So he's kind of like, he's kind of like Allison and I, where she does really well in photo. I do really well in video and we work really well together. And we built A&A &A Creative. Oh, that's the other thing. People are like, what's happening to A&A &A Creative? Listen, we are just expanding markets. We are just now in Colorado and we are servicing Colorado citizens. So um, don't think that ANA is dead. Don't think that ANA is going away. ANA is still in business. We are still kicking it. Allison is handling most of the work in the Dallas area. I'm handling most of the work 
here, but even this month, Allison's coming up here for an elopement that we're shooting in August, like in two weeks. And then I'm going to Dallas in November to shoot a wedding and um, hopefully another shoot. Uh, uh, it's in the working, so I don't want to like jinx anything yet. So anyway, um, got plugged into a church the second week that I moved here. I met this girl, Deborah, playing pickleball, and she was like, hey, come to New Life downtown. This church is awesome, and I've gone almost every week that I've been here since. We now joined a meal group is what they call them. And we do Monday fun day volleyball with our church group. And then we do Wednesdays pickleball with our church group. And then we go on Sundays. Um, I have met so many cool women here, women who rock climb and they hike and they're active and they're outgoing. And, and it's just unbelievable. Like I thought moving from Dallas, I still love my best friends. My best friends are still in Dallas. Girls, I love you girls. Um, don't think that I'm replacing you. I thought it would be really hard to find community here. Um, I thought that it would be months before I felt like I knew somebody well. I thought that it would be months before I could find work. I gave myself two months. I thought that it would take a while to get connected into a church again. I thought that I would feel lonely and um, lost and all of the things that come with moving to a place where you know nobody. And especially in that first month and a half when I knew John wouldn't be here with me, I got to the ground running. I did my very best to get as involved as I possibly could with this community. Um, luckily, my neighbor, Gabby, is awesome. So her and I have connected and we've become friends and we do hikes together and it's super fun. Um, and I have her to go to the pool with and we both just got paddle boards that we can go across at the lake and paddleboard together. So that's been a super great connection. Um, but my pickleball community has been an awesome connection. And then the people at church have been so nice and inviting and, and open to like meeting new people. And I think that this city specifically, Colorado Springs, it's a big city, but it's nothing like Dallas or Denver where you're like one in a million people. Um, it's small enough to where you can meet new people, but like John and I even saw Uriah and Laura out at a restaurant last night. And I was like, oh, we're becoming locals. Like we're running into people that we know in public places. How freaking cool is that? Like he's only lived here about a month today, actually. So all of that to say, life has been so fun. And it, yes, it is stressful because I don't have full-time work. I have some clients that I'm working with here in the Springs and I am hopeful for more clients to come, obviously. Um, the work side of things has been a little bit slower than I was expecting. It's still coming to fruition. I still have stuff booked. I'm still able to provide for myself. Um, so all of that to say, like I'm getting to hike most weekends and during the week if I want to. I have the, the mountain view right outside my window Every day I get to wake up and see the mountains. Everywhere I go, I get to see the mountains. And to me, that's giving me life. And it was really scary. Like truly, it was really scary to uproot my entire life and be like, okay, I'm gonna move to this place and I don't know anybody. And everything that I've already said, it was scary. And I am so glad that I made this choice. I am so glad that I'm living out my passions and my dreams and I'm making it happen and I'm putting an effort. Do not get me wrong. I'm not sitting here and waiting for things to happen to me and to like somehow stumble upon friendships. No, I'm putting in the work. I'm getting people's numbers. I'm texting those people. I'm following up with those people. I'm hanging out with people like most days a week, just like I do. I'm going to the same church. I'm trying to like stay after church and introduce myself to random people who are there. Um, I'm putting in the work, but I am so happy. And if you are on the edge, if you're on the edge of deciding whether or not to move to a new place and start over your life, do it. Like you're not going to regret it. I mean, the worst case scenario, and this is what I kept saying before I moved, worst case scenario, I hate it. And I move back in a year or even a six month, do a six month lease. Worst case scenario, you don't like it and you move back. But best case scenario, you have an awesome life with an amazing view and you meet new friends, you build new community and you still keep your old friends. You still keep your old community. They are not dead to me. I still have some of my old clients too in Dallas, but I'm getting to do all the things that I love with people that I enjoy in a, in a place that I love. And, and I don't know if it could get better than that. And maybe I'm on the high of moving in the summer 
when Dallas's weather is like 100 degrees, 105 this week, and Colorado Springs is 87, 88, but it gets down to like 50s at night and in the morning, and you're like, oh, this is so exciting. So maybe I am just on the high of moving, um, but I don't think so. I think I've always wanted to live here, and I was too scared to do it. And now that I've done it, I just feel alive. So take the risks do the scary things. You might have a couple months of a little less income or a little uncertainty or a little anxiety or a little less sleep, maybe all of the above, but it is worth it to live the life that you, that you wanted to live and that you see yourself living and you're in charge of that. Like your life is yours. So take hold of it and do the things that you love because life is short. It's like, it's so short. And, um, I just wanted to share my story because I want to encourage other people to do those things. Like if there's something you want to go do, do it <laughs> and have fun doing it. Um, because you just don't know what your life is going to look like and, um, take the chance, take, take the risks. It's worth it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I will continually give some updates. I'm starting to do some hiking videos so you can kind of follow along with that and what I'm up to with some of these other videos. Um, I'm sure that that's going to slow down once I have more work here in the Springs, like more continual, um, clients and stuff. But for right now, I'm enjoying making some fun, creative videos of my hiking and my camping and my travels and all the things that I love to do. Um, so continue watching. I love you guys. Thank you for caring about my life.